Hi, I'm John of Jade Village Millinery and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Um, I appreciate every one of you that do subscribe to this channel and you'll get notified when my videos get released. So in this tutorial, we are going to be blocking leather. Now this has been a request, I've seen a lot of comments, a lot of messages about how to block leather. Now this is um, my way of doing it. It's not perfect and my videos are really for you you guys that are pursuing millinery as more of a hobby or something that's just getting into the millinery industry. We also used a garland from um, an online retailer, Habitat. Now I do believe that you can no longer get this. Um, I'm very lucky to have a good friend who managed to source me once so thank you very much. Um, I do appreciate that and I've had this kind of idea design for several years. I used to have this um, chandelier garland in my old house um, and I very much miss it and I forgot to take it with me. So ever since then I've always wanted to incorporate that summer into a hat and I've never been able to find it and like I said my good friend thank you very much and that means I can get on with this tutorial. I also just want to just say I hope hopefully you'll be able to hear me and I hope I don't sound too rough this morning. Um, I was out with some friends last night, kind of got um, some sort of like throat thing going on. I sound like Dot from EastEnders. Um, and for those of you that don't know EastEnders, here's a picture of Dot. Yeah, that's what I feel like I sound like today. Um, and if you want to see pictures of behind the scenes, pictures of me pretty much drinking Prosecco because that's seen all I seem to really do, is Follow me on my Instagram and all my Insta stories will be more behind the scenes, more, more about me as opposed to the hats. Um, so if you are interested, I don't know if you would be or not, but if you are interested in seeing me pretty much looking not like I always drink, then follow me on Instagram. It's jwhmillinery and it's all linked down below. So for this tutorial, you are going to need the following. Some buckram, some leather, and here we've used like a soft napper type, some sharpie pens, millinery wire, ice wool, and a habitat chandelier garland. You're also going to need some copy decks for the leather. The block that we used in this tutorial was the button block from Hat Blocks Direct. Cover your button block in some cling film before you start. This will help prolong the life of the block. Then you need to cut two square pieces of buckram around 30 by 30 centimeters if you're using the button block and wet this and then layer one over the other. Then using the buckram, block this over the button block and leave this to dry. Once this is dry, remove from the block and using some millinery wire, put some wire around the edge of the base. Here I'm using a sewing machine on a large zigzag stitch. Once the wire has been attached, cover the base in some ice wool and sew this down and cut away any excess. What I ended up doing was using a sewing machine again on a zigzag stitch and then I um, did this very slowly so the ice wool didn't catch in the sewing machine and then trimmed away any excess that was left. Dampen your leather on the suede side and let this penetrate into the leather. And then once that has done that, Block this over the bottom block and just let this dry. Um, and th what this will do is this will help the leather keep some of that shape over the block. When you remove this though, you may notice that the leather doesn't fully keep the shape. But don't worry about this. Um, it will, you know, it just helps you later on with your blocking. Put the base back on the block and put this in the middle of the leather. Apply a small amount of copy decks to the leather where it touches the base and re-block the leather again. Here I'm using regular blocking pins, but make sure you only pin through the leather in the excess. What I'm also going to do here is show you the full blocking of the leather so you can see how easy it is to actually do. If it does dry, it's not so bad. All you need to do is carefully peel this away and re-block. Whilst this is drying, take your sharpies and add a splash of colour to the garland. 
if you wanted, you could also use paints to do this. For this piece though, we only used half of the garland, but this step did take a fair few hours to complete. Once the glue is dried, remove any excess leather, leaving behind a one centimeter allowance. Then, using copy decks, glue this down to the inside of the base. Remove the garland from the packaging with some wire cutters, making sure you don't cut yourself. The garland is quite tricky to figure out where to cut, so in the middle, look out for small connecting bits between the flowers and the petals, and this will help you stretch out your garland into a longer piece. Sew down one end of the garland to the middle of your base. You will see here though that I had a problem with the garland keep attaching itself to itself, so keep your eyes on that and just make sure it's not all tangled up. Twist the garland round on itself, sewing into place as you go along. At this point though, don't worry about the final look, just secure the garland down. Once secure, add a line into the base, pop in some hat elastic and for extra security, a comb. Then, all you need to do is just play with the garland to make it look good. And that's how beautiful she looks. I mean, you know, it's something different. It's, uh, you know, using a material that you wouldn't necessarily always use. Um, hopefully in the future we'll be able to do more things like this. And in fact, I do have a tutorial that I'm working on currently on 3D printing, so you'll be able to see how you could actually make the individual pieces with 3D printing. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this tutorial. I do listen to you guys and I do read every single one of your comments and I do try and reply um, as often as I can do. Alternatively, you can always contact me on all my social media. So we've got Facebook, we have Instagram, we have Twitter and we also have Snapchat. And I'm still quite unsure what to do with Snapchat. I'm still confused with that one, but I am on Snapchat. Also, I'd like to say a massive thank you to my Patreon people. Um, I have the one at the moment, so thank you very much. And her name will be at the end of this video. And if you want to take part in our Milliner Showcase series, send me some images to the email address below with some details about the hat, your inspiration, and a little bit about yourself and hopefully we'll be able to showcase you in a future video. I'm also looking at some workshops, some events and some potential YouTube videos for Hat Week. Now, I hope you're all excited for Hat Week. It's sometime in March 2018, so make sure you check out the London Hat Week website, all the details, and as soon as I've got my classes ready, as soon as I get accepted, hopefully I'll be able to share that with you then. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, tell everybody about it, scream from the rooftops, tell everybody about this channel. I really much appreciate every single one of you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.